and the Slide Media Sports Slash Hip Hop. This is my review on Pusha T's album, Almost Dry. And before I get started and talk about the songs of the album, this right me to me, I feel like this is the album of the year. I said J. Cole's album last year, I feel like album was, was the album of the year. Of course, he didn't win a Grammy like that, but that was just my personal take and my opinion on it. J. Cole had album of the year, but I feel the same way about this album, Pusha T's album. Wow, like, Almost Dry, man. This is album. This song has no skips on it. When I mean no skips, no skips. Like every time I click on the song, when I listened to it last night, or when I was at work, or on my way to work, when I listened to any song down, I kept on wanting to listen to it. I had I heard no skips. Like lyricism and the beats are so fire on it. It's produced by the one and only Kanye West and Pharrell, a dynamic duo of that. Like it's almost like they were both competing to see which who had the better beats. Like these beats were so on point. Like I said, Kanye West for real producing the album. It's almost like having Dwayne Wade and LeBron James on the same team, or you got um, right now the, the, the Clay Thompson and Steph Curry together in one in one take. I mean, that's literally what this felt like. Listen to this album, like felt like an ultimate dynamic duo, or even go to say Kobe and Shaq, or take a more old school Magic Kareem. That's what it felt like on this track. Have a, I mean, on this track, having all them both of them produce his album, like that's what it felt like an unstoppable duo. It's like Pharrell beat come, then Kanye beat come, and it's just, wow. Like, both of them are just on point. Like I said, no skip. Like, if you're a fan of beats or you're a fan of lyricism, you'll definitely like this album. You ain't even got to like the lyrics. It's the beats on this album just make you go like, woo! We you know. And the features do not disappoint. Everybody that's featured on the album does their thing. Kanye West raps on here twice on the album. He does thing. Kid Cudi's on the album. He raps and does his thing. Lil Uzi Vert, Don Tolliver, both of them do their thing. Don Tolliver just does the hook, but Luz, 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 <laughs> Lil Uzi Vert actually does a rapping on here. He actually has a pretty good verse. Lil, Lil Uzi Vert's not known for his lyrics or nothing like that, but he kind of got busy on this one. So, wow, like, I guess when you're on the song, Pusha T, you got to get busy. You got to, you know, hold your own. So everybody that's rapping pretty much did that thing on this album. And, of course, the one and only, the great one, Jay-Z was on the album. His verse on my neck and wrist don't lie. The only phase I'm on is love. <laughs> Answering phase I love, Vlad TV interview. About that, it just boy Jay with his wordplay, just he comes in, he just kills it. Like Pusha even admitted on the Breakfast Club in the interview yesterday, he even said like, "I some stuff Jay can say on that I can't say the way Jay raps and all that." Like you gotta get up to somebody like Jay, Jay, you know Jay the Goat, man. Jay killed it with this verse. Probably he probably to me still had probably the best. I don't know if it was him and Kanye who had the best feature on the album, but I say I gotta give it to Jay. I say Jay had the best feature on the album for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so but yeah, this. His album was definitely pleasing to me. This me is album of the year. I know there's a couple other people coming. I don't know Future's coming, Kendrick's coming, Jack Harlow's coming. So maybe they might, you know, defer me, you know, from saying this. But as of right now, to me, Pusha T album is album of the year. I like the Lil Durk and I like the King's Von albums. I like both of their albums. But Pusha T's on another level, man, for me. I Like I said, I grew up on the clips. I grew up on this kind of music, man. It's on another level for me, man, when I heard Pusha T. So let me break down all the songs, all, all the songs by one, the track list of the song. So almost dry album. Number one, number one um Uno going numero uno. First one is Brambleton. You got Brambleton, that's a good song. Pretty much talks about him and his home, um, him and their old manager who got locked up, who could end up actually snitching on some of the people to get time off so he can be let free and everything like that. You got that song album. That's a good song album. You got let, let the smokers shine coops. That's a good album. I mean, that's a good song on the album as well. Then you got Dream of the Past with Kanye. Kanye does a good little hook on it. Does a good hook on him. He comes here, does his thing. Definitely, definitely. One of my, maybe one of my favorites. I like every song of the sound, but Dream of the Past, probably one of my favorites that probably stands out more so than all the rest of them. But Dream of the Past. Then, of course, I talked about Neck, of the, Neck and Wrist featuring Jay-Z. That's, I already said what I need to say about that song now. That's definitely also one of my favorites, too. Then you got Diet Coke. That's pretty much a good song, too, as well. Like, the way um, Pusha T describes Dope Dylan and all that, it's like the way he describes, he said he wants to be the Mar Martin Scorsese of dope rap. I feel like he is. He's Martin Scorsese. He's um, Leonardo da Vinci. I feel like he's Steven Spielberg, Stan Lee of this dope game rapping. Like he's really, to me, at this point, he's like that at that level. The Stan Lee, Walt Disney, Steven Spielberg, all that when it comes to this dope game rapping. Like ain't nobody touching him when it comes to that. For real, man. He's like, a, I mean, pretty much a scientist almost when it comes to that. When it comes to this, like he know he has down like to a science with his rap dope game talk, and Diet Coke definitely shows that to you a lot. So that's an, so that's another one of like my favorite song. That's favorite song to stand on me on album. Then Rock and Roll, another song to stand on me. Got my two of my favorites, Kid Cudi and Kanye West on this. Kanye West on this song. We might not see Kanye West and um 
Kid Cudi again on the album together. This might be the last time Kid Cudi had announced on Twitter saying it's the last time him and Kanye are going to be on the song together. I hope they can patch things up and everything like that. But, of course, you know, you know on the blogs. I really don't do on this slime that's what's about blogs like that. But we know about relationship Kim Kardashian has with Pete Davidson. Kid Cudi's cool with Pete Davidson. And Kanye, of course, doesn't like that, you know, because that's his ex-wife and all that and everything. But, you know, hearing them on the song together just makes it you want to hear more music and just hope they can work it out and make peace because... Definitely another one of my favorites on here between rock, um, rock and roll with Kid Cudi and Kanye West. Then another, then another song on the album, Call Me Bluff. Good song as well. Definitely, definitely good song. No skips. Like I said, this album said no skip, but not one of my favorites. I like Call Me Bluff on the song. Scrape It Off, Fishing, Lil Uzi Vert, and Don Tyler. But like I said, Lil Uzi Vert really raps on this thing. I didn't even know it was him. Hey, he comes on the intro and rap. He's killing it. And Don Tyler kills it with the hook and all that. And I almost felt like this song was just missing Travis Scott on it to do his part on it as well. But another good song that's standing on me on the album with Lil, um, with Lil Uzi Vert and um, Don Tolliver. Then also as well, Help help Me Clearly. Hear Me Clearly. That's another good song for it. Another, another good song. Love it. Enjoyed it. Hear Me Clearly. Open Air is a good song as well. Enjoyed that album. I liked it. Then I Pray For You. Lee, uh, I Pray For You is the song. I want to check, make sure I know my, know my right, but... I think it's a song right there with no malice, with no malice, just raps. Cause like no malice, like it, like I said, hearing this song between Pusha T with Pusha T and No Malice, actually definitely, definitely for sure has me wanting to hear a, a clips reunion now. The way No Malice raps on this, I'm like, whoo, we, yeah, we're pushing a little bit than No Malice. Whoo, man, No Malice kills it, kills it on his verse. Like I said, and he just rapping, even though Man No Malice said he doesn't do the street rap no more. He's going to Christian rap and all that. But just hearing these two rap on a song together, this definitely wants you to hear a Clips reunion album. Definitely, definitely, the way these two rapping on. Like I said, I grew up on the Clips. So hearing this, it's like, whoo, wow, man. Just definitely, like I said, this album is excellent. Like I said, the No Malice and Pusha T record, Pray For You, definitely, definitely want another standout for me and my favorites. So, man, Pusha T, like I said, he kills it. On this, on this album, definitely love it. I'm definitely entertained by it. I definitely enjoyed it. Like I said, all the features were good on here. One a whole bunch of features. A lot of good, you know, songs here. Definitely like, you know, definitely you can listen to any of them, man. Like, no skips. I'm telling you, this is the album of the year. I'm going to keep on saying it. This is my favorite album so far I've listened to. I know we're only still in the beginning of the year, but, man, this, this album is not disappointed at all, man. I might listen to some more of it later on today because that's how much I'm enjoying and entertained by it. I, like I said, Push a T almost dry album. Definitely, definitely, Alm, you definitely got to listen to it. Definitely got to check it out. So, once again, this is Slide Media Sports Slash Hip Hop. Like I said, most of the time on this channel, I'm pretty much going to be talking about music. I know the, I know the NBA playoffs are going on right now, of course. Philly and uh, Toronto are going in right now in the playoffs. And uh, congrats to Atlanta Hawks. My Atlanta Hawks just won yesterday. They beat Miami at home. Hopefully, we make this series competitive and we can pull up an upset and upset Miami, you know. And uh, like I said, it's been done before. Eight seeds have been number eight C has been number one seed before. It's just been over ten years since it happened. But hopefully my Atlanta Hawks can pull this off. You know, they can get the upset and win and beat Miami. But you know, like I said, I'm enjoying the NBA playoffs. I'm probably gonna do no videos this year like I did last year in the NBA playoffs for the most part. Maybe around the finals or something big happens in the competitive games. I might do that. But not right now. Most of them just be doing rap albums. Like I said, Future's coming, I think, um, next weekend. Future's coming with his album drop. And I think Few weeks down the road, Kendrick's coming, and I think Jack Hollow's coming as well. So I'll just be doing reviews on rap albums so far right now on Slime Media Sports slash Hip Hop. But once again, be safe with yet. Y'all have a good day to Slime Media Sports slash Hip Hop. I'm out. Y'all be blessed. And turn over to Slime Media because I will be doing a review where I'm going to be talking about The Flash and about Netflix uh, losing a whole bunch of subscribers. I mean, The Flash actor Ezra Miller, and I'll be talking about Netflix losing a lot of subscribers. But y'all be safe with yet, and be blessed.